Well, we had our little chat, so I think we're gonna start. We're still in full. We're kind of just like halfway through, not even halfway through, I mean. Fall, we have some stuff to do. I have a letter. What? Oh yeah, Stardew Valley Fair. We can't miss that, guys. <coughs> you get to miss most of your classes today? Why is that? Were you skipping? I do not need to water these. Were you skipping? What have I told you about that? Umbrian's dresses, I like basic sweet tea. Oh, I do not like sweet tea at all. <laughs> not even iced sweet tea. I don't know though. Uh, Starbucks has their sea salt caramel hot chocolate now. It's pretty much life. Oh, you took the staff yearbook photos? Why? Because you're in photography? Did you put a whole bunch of filters on them? <laughs> Hot water with honey and lemon is good for sore throats and chesty coughs. Yeah, the tea that I have has lemon in it. It's throat coat with lemon. And it, uh, it's like has black licorice root in it, which is supposed to be good for you, I guess. So, that's the one I typically drink. Oh, I guess I can harvest that. Sunflower. I like how sunflowers give you more seeds, so you can just be like, whoop. Granted, we have all these fall seeds that I need to plant. I don't even know if I have room for all of them. Probably not. Give it a shot. So what has everyone been up to? Did you guys have a good Thanksgiving? If you celebrate, obviously. If you don't, then did you have a good Thursday? Oh, I've been using a ton of <laughs> Vicks Vapor Rub and just menthol. Should probably have some. How am I almost dead already? What the heck? Did I stay out late the last time we were playing or something? That just seems like I used a lot of energy for no reason. You had deep fried turkey? What? On Thanksgiving? Uh, Super K Brown says, have you tried any breathing exercises? Not for this. I It's hard to breathe deeply. It's very uncomfortable. Has anyone ever had bubble tea with milk? I have... Uh, I had bubble tea before. Like the mall's bubble tea. <laughs> I don't know if that makes a difference. They have this one flavor that's uh, pretty good. It's jasmine. Twilight Observer says I had to be social. I don't like being social at all. We played pie face? What is pie face? Did you actually hit people with pies? Because that would considerably brighten my Thanksgiving. Umbrian Zara says, My Thanksgiving was super uncomfortable because my cousins kept peer pressuring me to drink. That is strange. And uncomfortable.
Lucky Skyrim says I just ended up arguing with family. Not the best, but whatever. Andy writes fiction says I had to work Black Friday from midnight to 8 a.m. Oh, God. Gross. I'm sorry. I did that once. I mean, like, worked that weird schedule once. And it was actually, like, one day. I didn't work at that place. I had a friend who did. And they were recruiting people, so we didn't even get properly trained. And it was pretty much hell on earth. Cam Quinlan says, everyone go like my gay Disney picture on, di on Twitter. <laughs> Homework. Did you have to beat anybody up to get some deals on Black Friday? Uh, no, actually. We did really well, though. Um, we picked up a couple CDs, like, I got 21 Pilots and, uh, Bastille, One Republic, the Suicide Squad soundtrack, which I was enjoying before the stream. Um, and we got some movies, too. We got X-Men, uh, what's the sec- what's the second one? The second one and, like, the prequel trilogy, not First Class, but the one after that. Because it was like $4, Blu-ray, so we got that. We got The Hobbit, The Last Hobbit. Uh, we got Lego Batman. <laughs> that was for me. Uh, the Justice League one. Like Lego Batman, Justice League, G Gotham City Break. It has like the longest freaking title. Uh, we got that. We got Batman Bad Blood and... Uh, Justice League versus Teen Titans and they were all really inexpensive which just made my life uh, it was Days of Future Past Kevin Quinlan it was not Apocalypse because we hadn't seen First Class we actually just watched that the other night and it was quite good I was kind of surprised I wasn't I mean I thought it would be good but it was better than I expected so we'll have to watch we don't- we didn't get the third one because it wasn't on sale and it was still kind of expensive. But... So, we usually load up on movies on Black Friday and then- and then never buy a movie during the actual year. Um... <coughs> trying to think. What else we got? Well, Ego Batman ended up giving me a Christmas present early, which is actually my monitor, which I'm using right now, and it's glorious. But uh, it was an ultra wide monitor, and they're normally very expensive. So, oh, speak of the devil, hey, what's up? Can you make me a menthol thingy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Weren't you gonna tell them a story? Huh? I thought you were gonna tell them a story. I don't remember what story it was. You wanted me to tell about how I was traumatized by a tale of two brothers. Oh yeah. You should tell them that. Uh, no, let me let me go eat and then No, you're not allowed to eat. I might. There's no eating. Fine. Eat quick. <laughs> what are you even gonna eat? You have off tomorrow, right? Yeah. Okay. He got a majestic beauty. He did. I love this monitor. I actually have it split because it comes with the software so you can split stuff. I went in there for a specific reason then I walked back out. Um, But so I have the Twitch chat like on the right hand side. So I'm trying to get used to that because it's not usually there. One of these has a sunflower, doesn't it? Is it the dye bundle? Aha! I knew I wasn't completely crazy. Um, 
Uh, were you able to get a new chair? I didn't, and I don't think I'm getting one for Christmas. They are very expensive. Uh, so it was kind of like, like, he got me the monitor, which was already expensive, so I'm definitely not, like, he said that, uh, he wasn't able to get me the chair, which is fine, like, I'm very happy, <laughs> um, with my monitor. I hate asking for, like, expensive things, but basically anything YouTube-related is expensive, so... <laughs> It's kind of like, well, I kind of need it. Cracky Knuckles says, I can't wait for Deadpool 2. Oh, Deadpool. That was the other one that we got. I was already here. This is what happens when I'm not paying attention. Uh, yeah, Deadpool was the other one we got. We haven't seen it yet. So, I'm pretty excited. Andy Writes Fiction says, who's everyone's favorite X-Man? Oh, that's tough. I really like Phoenix or Jean Grey. Um, I don't know. They're all, f they're all fun, though. Like, I gotta give props to Rogue, because we have similar hair. Moped Dude says beanbag chairs always work. I don't think that would work for my desk. I think my desk is a little bit high for that. Oh my gosh. Look at, there's so many blackberries out right now all over again. Oh no, this this is a flower. This goes in the flowers. Whoop. There we go. Cam Quinlan says we got to watch that when I'm down. Deadpool? Yeah. We do. I'm excited for it. I was sad that they didn't have Suicide Squad on sale, but I guess it is still pretty, like, new. <coughs> so, I guess I can see why. Um, we need a rainy day. That's what we really need over here, because a lot of the fish that we still need to catch has to be raining. So, I think what we're going to do is focus on fishing this month, and then focus next month, like on win it, next season, next month, whatever. In winter, I think that's when we're going to do a lot of mining, because there's not a lot of farming to do. So that's kind of my plan. And I hope you're okay with it. And if not, oh well. Are you still planning to go for Sam? I think so. You need a throne made out of pillows and squishy animals. That would look really intimidating. Uh... Moped Dude says the extended cut just came out. Maybe that's why Suicide Squad was not on sale. Yeah, I really want the extended cut. Hello. Are you looking for something? Oh, okay. He came in and got his headphones and a can of Pringles and walked out. <laughs> Andy Rates Fiction says, I still need to play this game. You haven't played it yet? Really? Bread. I already knew how to make... I already knew how to make bread. I am disappointed. Uh, I saw that it's coming out on, what, Xbox One, I think, pretty soon. So that's pretty exciting. I 
I think if I had a throne, it would be made from the skulls of my enemies, not stuffed animals. I mean, maybe one errant stuffed animal. Just one. How many enemies do you have? Too many. Enough to make a throne. When you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you lose. I need to read the rest of those. Well, the ones that are out. Because George R. R. Martin is doing everything except writing <laughs> that any of the any of the rest of the books George R. R. Martin master procrastinator Ah Echo says that sounds uncomfortable Well, yeah, it's going to be uncomfortable, but it's going to scare the heck out of anybody that comes into your room Kevin Quinlan says I still think he's gonna die before the series is over who who's dying what With hot glue gun, you can do anything. That's true. Speaking of gluing things, I was trying to glue my copy of Order of the Phoenix back together because apparently the cover is like falling off. I went to start reading it, and the cover is like peeling off of it, so that's great. So I tried super gluing it back on. I don't think it worked very well. What? Oh, I forgot to do that. Whoops. We'll have to get Linus's basket. Cam Quinlan says, George R. R. Martin, my bro, I met at the con. Oh, you're saying you think George R. R. Martin is going to die before he finishes the writing the series? That would be tragic. Does he have kids? I feel like that would be your duty as a child. You know what I mean? The book that didn't survive. I'm really irritated about it, though, because I don't want to buy a new one. I mean, I do have them in hardcover, so, as well, so I could just read the hardcover version, but that, that thing is heavy. Do you, do you know how big that book is? It's freaking huge. Also, it's my least favorite book, so, out of the series, so I'm kind of like, uh, I guess I should read it and not skip it, although I am tempted, because I just hate Umbridge. Echoey says you're destroying my perfect, beautiful fall forest. Echoey, let me tell you something. I don't care. <laughs> <clears throat> It'll look beautiful tomorrow. When it all grows back. At least you have your beautiful fall music going on. Denise says, my copy of Chamber of Secrets fell apart in middle school. I was so sad. My copy of Sorcerer's Stone, the hardcover version, actually broke away from its binding. <laughs> so I had to get a new one of those a couple years ago. Um, hmm. Wait. 
Would you have a Vada Cadaver Fritz if you could? Probably. Fritz is the worst. It seems like whenever I have a strong opinion, like that's the video that gets the most dislikes. <laughs> So if I would, like, talk badly on Fritz, like, people would get really offended, and I'm just like... I don't... It's just my opinion. Or, like, uh, the latest episode of Telltale Batman, I wasn't really impressed with it, episode 4. And... It has a couple dislikes on it, and I was like, wow, people don't like it when I speak my mind. <laughs> Ah, well. Cam Quindlin says, My Goblet of Fire hardcover is shorter than all my other books and it drives me crazy. That would really annoy me. Well, you know how the internet is. If it's story-based and you don't have the same thoughts as someone else, they'll let you know. Oh, yeah. People are more likely to let you know when they don't agree with you than when they do <laughs> or when they have something negative to say versus something positive always always i just love it when people argue and they're actually wrong <laughs> i'm like no actually that's not what happened i don't i don't i don't know i don't even bother anymore there's no point <laughs> in arguing even if you can plainly prove it <clears throat> no point um open dude says still no info and stardew is coming to ps4 but arc survival comes out next tuesday well that's cool who did i watch play that i feel like it was cam quindlin did um did they do a monster factory on arc survival was that one of the ones they did? I feel like they might have. Cracky Knuckle says, I used to like it until they put Hermione with Ron. At that point, I was like, fuck it. I don't like Hermione and Ron at all. I They would not have worked. Well, even J.K. Rowling has said that that was a mistake. And then a bunch of people got all mad about it. But they wouldn't have. I mean, let's be honest. After reading Goblet of Fire again, I'm really kind of shipping her with Crumb now. I think that could have been really cool. Especially because it was very unconventional. Oh man! Did you see my berries? My berries. Denise says, I enjoy your positive reaction to negativity. Respond sassily and with a good sense of humor. Well, that's good, because... I never know how to respond. Because, like... Sometimes I try to just be like, well, maybe that person's having a bad day, and, like, I don't know. Maybe it's better not to respond. Don't get me started on the comments on Fable of the Lost Chapters. A dude told me that my thoughts were wrong because he wrote a fanfiction that said otherwise. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I didn't know that, uh, I mean, I love Fable. Uh, the first one, really. The, the second and third one, I was kind of like... I mean, I didn't play them the whole way through, but I was never, like, super into them. But the first one is so good. And I never knew that there were people who were that passionate about it. Cam Quinlan says, yes, that's the one with the dinos. Okay, good. I thought that they did a monster factory on Ark Survival. Monster Factory is one of the best things that was ever put on YouTube. <laughs> Just saying. It makes me so happy. If you're having a bad day, go watch Monster Factory. You would think I would promote my own videos here, but... <laughs> go watch Monster Factory. Cam Quinlan just sent me a picture of her books and how Goblet of Fire is really small in comparison to the other ones. <laughs> Stop, you're triggering me. That would really bother me. You should have told me that before, because then I would have gotten you that for Christmas. <laughs> Although, I think you're going to like what I got you. Probably. I don't know. Maybe you'll hate it. Mm -hmm. 
There we go. Holy crap. That is a lot of energy, man. That is nuts. Yeah, I don't know. I think... I think it's true that it gets a little bit easier over time to kind of deal with the negative comments, but at the same time, you get more. As the channel grows, you start to get more because more people are watching your stuff. So, I don't know. It's really hard sometimes not to respond to things. You just gotta be like, whatever. I'm noticing it a kind of more so in Pokemon, which, I mean, I guess makes sense. Just like backseat gaming. <laughs> which is like, you know, that's fine. Everybody plays it differently. That's the point. Like, what? You're watching it to watch how I do it, right? So why would you want me to play it the way that somebody else does and not the way that I would naturally play it? You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. Going to sleep. Ooh, level seven forging. Awesome. Axe proficiency. I never craft seeds. They're all over the place. I've been doing YouTube for almost seven years. I still suck at handling the negativity. It's, yeah. I mean, some people I think are just naturally like, they don't care they don't take anything personally and for me I have to really watch it because I take everything personally <laughs> so I have to talk myself down a lot to not be a butthole Fable 1 was so amazing that that's a game that I'm like kind of nostalgic for I think I was like really what maybe 13 or 14 when I played it I just loved that game that's probably my favorite game for the original Xbox H Smooth says when I'm having a bit a bad day your chill streams help out a lot well that's awesome not that not awesome that you're having a bad day of course but H. Smoot says, can you imagine if Hollywood discovered Adam with their plastic surgery obsession splice her hell in a month? Yeah, that would not be good. <laughs> I mean, we, we saw what it did to Rapture. Oh my gosh, come on. Just water the right plant for once in your life. Ooh, I think my yams are done. They're done. Oh, I never picked that artichoke. I also love comments on videos that are like a year old and they're like, oh, you should have done this. <laughs> I'm like, well, maybe so, sir. But that was in March of last year so probably not gonna do it now <laughs> oh you're streaming fable see I don't know if that would be a better idea than like just doing an outright let's play of it just because I can't imagine a lot of people are searching for it so the traffic probably wouldn't be too amazing. Have you watched any Final Fantasy 15 videos yet? I got the game on Monday. It's got some badass music that plays for battles. Oh, really? I, I really... The funny thing is, although I've never played a Final Fantasy game, I really like Final Fantasy music. But I haven't watched uh, 
anything. A lot of times, if I put on a Let's Play or something, it's just because I'm doing something else. Like, I'm working. I don't usually actively watch Let's Plays. Which is like... Why am I watering things I've already watered? I just like to have background noise on when I'm doing something. So... Usually I find a let's play with like 500 parts and just let it play. And like half pay attention. Hey! Okay, jeez. It pretty much kills me every day just to water my stupid plants. And we still have not had a rainy day. This is kind of ridiculous. Also, my cat is so lazy. But so much better than the dog. Can I... Can I get these? Ha ha. Yeah, cause I don't, all the fish that we need, I'm pretty sure it has to be raining. Yeah. So that kind of puts a, a dampener on things. Come winter, mine your butt off for sprinklers. Oh, I'll be mining in the winter. That's definitely the best time. Uh, Andy Rates Fiction says, I ordered my Avermedia LGP and it was damaged. Oh no. Avermedia is another capture card, right? Pretty sure. We got the plant in front of the scarecrow near the bottom. Oh, did I? Hey, Yulian, what's up? Echoey says, welcome, new person. Yulian has been here before. Alright, where did I miss it? Near the scarecrow? Aha, corn. Got it, thanks. H. Smoot says, I do the same thing. I put on Return to Popular Christ while making stuff on SketchUp. Is that like a, an art app? Perchance, because that's like a really that's a cute name for it if it is oh eggplants that's not where my eggplants are oh I already have a ton should save the artichoke though And I'll save a couple yams. But we do need to put one in the community center. So we'll go do that. Everything else I guess I can sell. Alrighty then. Alright. See you later. Have fun playing Fall- Or I was gonna say Fallout Fable. <clears throat> I, need I should replay that. That's a great game. <laughs> Whoa. Come back yam. Whoa, that rainbow of chests. Andy Rates Fiction says, Yeah, the micro USB would not let anything be inserted. They refunded me my money, but I'm so disappointed. That sucks, man. Uh, right now, I have the... I have the Elgato HD. It's not the 60, because... Uh, the 60 only had HDMI, and I wanted to be able to record old stuff on it. I mean, now I have a converter, so it like, doesn't really matter, but that's what I'm using. But eventually I would like to get the H HD60 Pro, which is an actual card that you install in your computer, and it reduces lag and all that good stuff. So... H. Smoot says it's so it's artistic. It's a 3D modeling program from Google. Oh. Andy Wright's fiction says I have a fun story for everyone. Black Friday, after spending the day in bed and waking up to eat late at night, I heard what I thought was a hydrant burst open. And then what? 
Turns out a neighbor backed into another neighbor's gas line and we had to evacuate. Holy crap. That would not be fun. Wow, what a wake-up call. Move it, Lewis. An aquamarine. Do I have one of those? I'm just gonna take the quest. Get out of the way! I want to see the calendar, you old man. Arrgh. What a jerk. Won't move. Any rates fiction says I didn't get to go home until 2 a.m. and then I still had to go work in the a.m. Oh man. I would be so angry. <laughs> be like, you moron! Aha, I do have an aquamarine. Alright, let's go see the wizard. Brian Zara says, I'm sorry if, I, if I've been talking too much today. My anxiety has been kicking in since it's been so long since I really interacted with the chat. When my anxiety acts, acts up, I can't stop talking. That's okay. I don't think anybody is going to be upset about that. All right, weirdo, here's your aquamarine. My work was satisfactory. I brought that to you in like two minutes. Work was satisfactory. Why do you have a pentagram? Cam Quinlan says, when I'm having a bad day, I watch that video of the ferret making a nest. I've never seen that. Lovely farming. We can make the keg now. Which I think I need to make anyway. Cracky Knuckles says, I come back to the chat and it's about hamsters. You never know what you're going to come back to. If you leave this chat, you just don't know. It could be anything. One sad little eggplant. <sighs> Mystic Jedi says, I'm here, darlings. Your queen has arrived. 
Your queen lives here. And her name is me. Oh my gosh, Quinn. Which uncle? The crazy one? Or the other one? Twilight Observer says, I really want to go to really freaking clever stream, but there's this. I'm not gonna feel bad if you wanna go to someone else's stream. Oh, I'm the goddess and you're the queen. I don't think I'd be a very good goddess. Have to like listen to people all the time. Like when they're talking to God and Monty Python and the Holy Grail. And they, he's like, what are you doing? And they're like, averting our eyes, oh lord. And he's like, well, don't. That'd be me. Next Pixar movie, Keaton the Sad Little Eggplant. No, it can't, it can't tell you that it's gonna be sad. <clears throat> it has to have a neutral title and then five minutes in have the saddest scene ever That's what happens with Pixar Shall we revisit finding Nemo where Nemo's mom dies two minutes in Pilot Observer says up went south really fast. You can make a good witch princess. Has there ever been a witch princess? And if so, where did you see such a person? Why is it not raining? Very upset about it. The Nova 6 said up destroyed me. Cam Quinn says not Pixar but Mufasa. I think Mufasa's death scarred us all. Can you think of a Disney movie where, like, it wasn't super sad at one point? Or a Pixar movie? I think the only one that I can really think of is Aladdin, because his parents are already, like, obviously dead or something. Or they disowned him. Oh, thank you. Did you eat? Harvest Moon games have them and they tend to be sassy. Which princesses? I know there's always a harvest goddess. Keat on the little eggplant. There you go. Keat on the little eggplant. Five minutes in, someone eats the eggplant. And it screams. Wouldn't that be horrible if your food screamed when you ate it? Because it felt pain. That'd be horrible. <laughs> These are the things I think about. Mystic Jedi says, the other stream I was watching and I'm a mod for, she was playing Life is Strange and I'm hooked. Life is Strange is really good. I played it a long time ago. It was like my second major Let's Play after Story of Seasons. So, plug, go watch that. 
I even left all the music in, even though it wouldn't let me monetize those a lot of those videos. Because the music is just so good. What did I just walk into? You've walked into hell. I mean... You're not wrong. That would be horrible, Captain Quindlin. Denise says, Life is Strange was awesome. I probably will watch it again. Mystic Jedi says, no spoilers. Oh, you never saw it? It's very good. I think the first episode is on Steam for free now. So if you want to try it for yourself. It was, I think the whole thing was on sale during the Steam autumn sale. I don't know if that's still going on. I tried to refrain from spending money during that. Andy writes fiction says, I told a friend he's Chloe Price because they're pretty much the same person minus the lesbian beanie. Okay, so this is your first time watching it then, Mystic Jedi. It's very, it's very good. I'm excited for when they do the next season. I'm also really excited for their next game, which is called Vampire. I am definitely going to be playing that. Whenever that comes out. I think it's, I think it's going to be out next year. Hopefully. Lucky Scrum says I'm back, Family Crap 2.0. Yeah, if I had a sitcom, that would probably be its title. Cam Quinnell says Morgan is like Chloe, except not at all because she's a cinnamon roll. Yes, she is. Ugh, why won't it rain? I need to catch a whole bunch of fish. You have pizza. What a jerk face. How dare you not share your pizza? It's a crime. Okay, so it's on the 16th. So I need to make sure that we do that. Cracky Knuckles says, well, excuse me. And you just finished eating pizza, Andy writes fiction. Disappointed in all of you. How dare you have these nice things and then not share. It's not nice. It's not nice at all. I had macaroni and cheese today. It was pretty good. But I did not have pizza. And now I want pizza, so thanks for that. Handy Rates Fiction says, I also have seasons one through three of Ghost Whisperer beside me for after the stream. Getting your after stream entertainment ready. Hmm, how much iron do I have? Good bit. Maybe we'll... Maybe we'll actually upgrade... Furnace, 20 copper ore, 25 stone. I don't know if I have that much copper ore. Uh... 
I guess we'll do it. Make another furnace. Just make things a little bit easier. Alright, furnace. Great furnace. Make some iron. No. Did I not? I guess I didn't donate an aquamarine to the museum. I should do that. Just going through to make sure. Okay. Alright, so we got that going for tomorrow. Mystic Jedi says, I just love my new coffee pot. People teasing us with their pizza anyway. It's just not nice. Come in here and brag about your pizza. There was like no music. It was very strange. There's the music, sort of. Ooh, cranberries are back. Gonna get a decent payout today. It'll just take me five years to get them all. Oh, look, my flowers. My flowers! Alright, there's, there's a lot of cranberries going on right now. Holy crap. Okay. Get that. Lots of money. <laughs> oh, geez. Well, hello, spider. Hold on. Get off my keyboard. You did. Where did it go? That's a little concerning. I don't know where it went. I don't see a splatter. Got out of there. He was fast. Did you see the spider killed? Well, there was one, but I kind of hit it with this, and I don't know where it is. I think it's either dead or it ran like a bitch. How big was it? It it was like it wasn't. It was one of the thin ones. Oh. It wasn't like a... It wasn't a spoopy one. Oh, you'll never find that. Probably not. I think I killed it, though. I just don't know... Good job. ...where it went. If I did kill it. Well. Whatever. It just like went like this and just came down from the ceiling, oh. like right behind my mic. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, you did not just do that. Well, whatever, it's gone now. 
probably, hopefully. I didn't want to smack it because it was on my keyboard. Yeah. But I think I got it. Oh well. But thanks for coming in to murder it. There was one in my car this morning and I couldn't stop. It was just like right on the windshield. And I just had to keep driving and I was like, oh, I'll tolerate you. Anyway. That's pretty much what just happened, Umbreon's Arrest, except it was, like, right in front of my microphone that this happened. It just lowered itself, like, slowly, and I can only see it from the light of my monitors because I try to keep off the other lights in this room or else it gets really hot. <laughs> so, that was interesting. Oh, I know. They are always outside Nanopap's house. They don't do anything about it. They just let them there. Okay. Well, now I'll get back to watering my crops. Can you romance Shane in this? Yes, he his romance came in the update. Him and Emily, you can now romance. Why you can't romance Mayor Lewis is beyond me. I mean, who doesn't want a piece of that mustache? Umbreon's Arrest says, I really like long, elegant sounding names. Cam Quinlan says, Story time. When my dad was in first grade, he had a super sweet teacher who was pretty young, and then she was out, and they had a sub for a long time. At story time, the sub read them Charlotte's Web, and at the end, when Charlotte dies, they were told that their teacher died. Wow. That is a little bit horrifying. Like, we just read this this nice book. Did you guys like it? By the way, your teacher's dead. That's like the scene in Scary Movie 3 when he's telling the little girl that Brenda died, her teacher. And he's like, I got this. And he's like, she died a horrible, painful death. <laughs> and then he, he's like, she's gone like your dog. And she's like, my dog's dead. And he's like, I just ran him over. <laughs> Tact. Denise says, that's messed up. Charlotte's Web was already a sad book. Dude, I think it would have only been sadder if it was Where the Red Fern Grows. Did anybody else read that in elementary school? Oh my gosh, that freaking book. Stardew Valley ain't got nothing. Stardew Valley. I was just going to say, Charlotte's Web ain't got nothing on Where the Red Fern Grows. I was like half reading a comment and half just talking at the same time. Anyway, Yulian says, I can't wait till Stardew has a multiplayer. I don't know how that's going to work. Like, would it be a separate thing, or would you have that person come help you on your farm? Or what would you do? How is it that we still haven't had rain? Are we in a freaking drought? Is that what's happening? Is that what's going on here? 
Andy Rates Fiction says, what about Bridge to Terabith? Yeah, that's a good point. It's gonna be miles ahead of No Man's Sky. Freaking No Man's Sky. Did not do very well. Stardew Valley, Stardew Valley night version where you go and kill all your neighbors. Wow. That just got real. It's like a zombie mod or something. <laughs> Cam Gwyneth just says bridge to Terabithia. The Outsiders was such a good book, though. But it was sad. How goes the wooing with Super Saiyan? Uh, I'm not really focusing on that yet. Still kind of like focusing on the farm and whatnot. But we will get him. Don't worry. He doesn't have a choice. Look at the fall pumpkins. Hey, man. No, I'm not friends with Alex. He's a douchebag. Town of Salem is already a hellstorm of a game. One of you guys actually gave me a copy of Town of Salem. And I did play it, but I didn't feel like I really understood what I was doing. I almost won, though, so, I mean... <laughs> Mystic Jedi says maybe I can actually see your wedding this time. Maybe. Your friend bought this game when it came out and never played because they're waiting for multiplayer? Really? Like, I get the general idea of it, I just don't get all the specifics of Town of Salem. No, don't eat it. Ah, <sighs> now I have to go get another berry. No, not that one. All right, let's actually, I don't know. How late is the museum open? I don't know if it's open past four or not. I don't think you'd want a simulator of me. I'm not very interesting. I, I don't do interesting things. Do a series on it and learn the ropes. I don't know if I'm up for a... Uh, a let's play of that. I have so many games right now that I'm kind of in the middle of. That starting a new one is a little daunting. Especially because Pokemon Sun is going to take me forever. I shall be your mentor. Why would you have to... Buy Stardew Valley. Why would you have to buy it again, Richard Dang? Ugh, no reward for that? Stingy old man. Why would you guys try to kill me? You guys are horrible. Oh, I really like The Outsiders, but I never read it for school. I read it on my own. Most of the books that I read for school, I really did not like. Yulian said, I, was, I would love playing Pokemon if only they got rid of the Eevee 
IV leveling that makes competitive battling so tiring. I just don't do competitive battling. So... That doesn't really bother me, personally. Uh, okay. So I definitely wanted to... Upgrade my axe. And then, over the winter, I'm gonna try to upgrade a bunch of stuff. Like, a bunch of tools. Because I'll have, uh, ore from the mine, so... H. Smooth says, I don't want to kill you. Well, that's good. Oh, wow, Andy writes fiction. Yeah, it was a really interesting premise. I was just like, like, I just kind of joined a game and was like, what is going on? Cracky Knuckle says, that's why I got the GOG version instead of Steam. It's easier to install and doesn't require a third-party program to install. Hmm. Uh, Richard Dang says, because I had Sturdy Valley on my old laptop and that one ended up heating up because the fan that kept it cool would not work anymore. Well, you shouldn't have to rebuy it, though. Did you buy it through Steam? Because you would just have to, like, authorize that computer to use your Steam library. <gasps> Look at my pumpkins! Look at them! That just, like, says fall. Echoey, where's Echoey? She's seeing these beautiful pumpkins. Better be appreciating my pumpkins, Echoey. Be very upset with you. Still no rain. Hey. After everything I've done for you, game, you're not gonna rain at all, really. Can you try and grow a giant pumpkin? I wish. That'd be pretty cool. Nope. I guess I could plant some more of those uh, fall seeds since the pumpkins are a one-time crop. Oh, Embryons R Us, that's not really so much backseat gaming, that's more just, like, oh hey, don't forget this, like, it's different than being like, your playstyle sucks and you need to do this. But yeah, I always hoard stuff, so... Yeah, I'm keeping four pumpkins and then I'm gonna put one of these in the community center, so I think we're good. Keep a couple grapes, so that I can always have some of that going. Um, whoops. Um, what do I need? Oh yeah, I need oak resin to build a keg. Hmm, well then. I don't know if I want to deal with that right now. I just don't think so. Let's go check out the caravan and then 
we'll go get this upgraded. The axe. So that we can get, I think, I think with this next upgrade we'll be able to break the log and get into the secret area in the forest. Duck egg. Stone apple artichoke. Star fruit. Hmm. I do like collecting the rare crows, but I don't really want to spend that on that because I still have to do the community center with the money and that's going to cost a lot, so. Once they have multiplayer, you can pay me 20 pumpkins a day for me to water your crops. What's your guilty pleasure? In what sense? Like, book? Game? Movie? I don't know. I don't- I wouldn't really know how to answer that. Guilty pleasure TV show is probably something like Vampire Diaries. Anything of that sort. Okay. Steel axe. He took all my money! What a jerk. What a jerk, Clint. It's a lot of money, man. Any guilty pleasure? Um, the only ones I can really think of are like TV shows because I don't, I wouldn't consider anything that I tend to read to be necessarily like a guilty pleasure. I take a lot of baths. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that counts. Mystic Jedi says mine is once upon a time in donuts. What's your food guilty pleasure? Probably cookies. Have an issue with cookies. <laughs> I don't like cake. Pie is okay. But like I couldn't just eat a like s more than one piece of pie. Even if it's a really good one like a pumpkin pie or an apple pie. It's like one and I'm like okay. Or even just chocolate in general. I'm just like, just a little bit goes a long way. But when it comes to cookies, I could just eat a million cookies. Kim Quillen says America's Next Top Model. That's true. That's definitely a guilty pleasure show of mine. Andy Wright's Fiction says, Shouldn't Mayor Fuckboy be using some of that government money to rebuild? He should. Lucky Skyrim says mine's Nutella. I actually really do not like Nutella. <laughs> Everyone on the planet likes Nutella. And I'm that one strange person that does not. Uh, I think we're just going to put this first one like over here. Eventually, I might try to set up like a little area with flowers and then have some bee houses around it, but it's not really a priority right now. Oh, I should have taken some of these geodes to be opened. I do think we can put this frozen tier in the community center, though. I forgot to do that. DJM says chocolate. Sorry, I'm a chocoholic. I can't eat that much chocolate, or I'm just like, ugh. I get sick. Hi, Magpie. What's up? I'm running into a wall. Lucky Scarm says, eh, it's fine. I only recently started liking it. It just seems like everybody just is head over heels for Nutella, and I just am like, eh, I don't really personally like it that much. Guilty pleasure drinks, I have a lot of, like, 
sea salt hot chocolate or sea salt caramel hot chocolate i should say from starbucks like i said earlier coconut hot chocolate so good i get that from dunkin donuts though um wawa has these really really good cream smoothies man i could go for one right now actually they're uh well they have all different flavors but the ones my two favorites are caramel so it's like a caramel cream it's like a frappuccino but it doesn't have coffee in it uh so there's that one and then there's one that's strawberry but it has chocolate in it and i love strawberry and chocolate together so that would definitely those would be my guilty pleasures i think although i recently learned how to make really good homemade popcorn that's like is the is the museum stay open i think uh i think clint closes early at like four but i think the museum stays open until five or six i could be wrong um but yeah i, I movie theater popcorn would definitely be a guilty pleasure because i love there are times when i i don't even care about seeing a movie i just want movie theater popcorn it's weird but i recently learned how to make popcorn that's pretty close to movie theater popcorn is so good so good good you're still open take this bone i know you want it cam quindlin says i prefer gummies instead of chocolate and mystic jedi says i hate nutella Umbreon's R.S. says, my guilty pleasure is re-watching re shows from my baby or toddlerhood and collecting Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Oh, hey, Boom Dragon. I'm glad you like my videos. Thanks for coming to the stream. We're talking about our guilty pleasures right now. So there's a lot of talk of food, so you're probably going to end up being hungry by the end of this conversation. Lucky Skarm says, did you know that Nutella is packaged differently in other countries? I did not know that. In what... In what way? I like- I prefer sour gummies over just gummies. I like sour stuff. Cam Quinlan says, I love peanut butter hot cocoa, but now I can't even smell it without feeling gross since after the crash. Yeah. Uh, we were in a car accident, like- what was it? Last... Not... This... This past February? Was it last February? And, uh... Cam Quindlin... And Eco Batman's mom was with us. Go away! I don't care. I don't care. I'm trash picking. Get out of here. And they both had just gotten peanut butter hot chocolate. And when the other car hit us, the hot chocolate went everywhere. It went all over the car. So the whole car smelled like it, and they were covered in it, because they were in the back seat. And, uh, so now peanut butter hot chocolate kind of triggers Qu Cam Quindlin a little bit. Yiku Batman says, I missed Arthur, but Blue's Clues was the shit. That show was so relaxing, it gave me ASMR before I knew what it was. I loved Blue's Clues. <laughs> I remember sitting there like before I would go to kindergarten because I was an afternoon kindergarten kid because you know my last name being on the other side of the alphabet I think that's how they did it back then I don't remember but I think that's why uh, but I would watch Blue's Clues in the morning before I went to kindergarten I did watch a little bit of Arthur though I really liked Arthur FK306 is my guilty pleasure is Magic School Bus and Cheesecake and Mozzarella Sticks. Mozzarella Sticks for the win. For real, though. So good. That's strange, Lucky Skarm. I did not know that about Nutella. Andy Writes Fiction says, okay, what's everyone's least favorite food? Probably sauerkraut for me. I can't, ugh. I can't handle the smell. It's just not good. 
It's never gonna rain. Yes, I know that the fair is tomorrow. Oh, one stray pumpkin. <laughs> one sad little pumpkin. We're back to the sad eggplant. I guess one sad little pumpkin is like the sequel. I feel like the only thing we're doing this month is farming because we haven't had a rainy day to go fishing. And I don't really want to do any mining. So I want to save that for winter. These freaking cranberries, man. I mean, they make me decent money, but... It takes a while to water them. Franklin was good. I watched a little bit of Franklin. I watched a little bit of Franklin and Little Bear. Ah. I think I watched Magic School Bus, but I don't really remember any specific episode. I remember playing the video games more. I actually have... I had two or three of them as a kid. And I think I grabbed uh, another one when we were at a thrift shop. One that I never had. I think that one was like Explores the Ocean or something. The one I had a kid was like the... What was it? There was a frog on the cover. So I think it might have been animals or something. And then there was another one that was like... I just remember you were looking at geodes and rocks. Can't remember what it was called. It's on my shelf somewhere somewhere over there among all the other childhood games that I still have at some point I'll get uh, my my butt in gear and I'll actually do videos on them so I think they would be fun Okay, so I finally planted the rest of the, the fall seeds because I forgot about them. Okay, are we good? Did we get everything? I think so. <gasps> finally. And tomorrow's the fair. And I don't have my axe anymore. Code... Li what is that? Lyoko? I've never heard of that. I don't even know what that is. H. Smooth says human body was amazing. I think that's one of the ones I don't have. I feel like I have four of them. I think I also got the space one. I don't think I had that as a kid, though. I can't remember. Andy writes fiction says Little Bear was my shit. I actually had- I had a Little Bear movie, like VHS tape. Somewhere. And it was like- it was like a Christmas sort of theme. Ed, Ed, Nettie, and Dexter's Lab and Rugrats, all good. All good things. Pokemon was always good. I really enjoyed Pokemon. I have several VHS tapes of Pokemon. And I think the first movie, maybe. I know I saw the first movie in theaters. Icy Cold says, what is this game? This is Stardew Valley. It is like Harvest Moon. It's 
very relaxing. <laughs> Cam Quinlan says, I want to go see Moana so bad. Yeah, I haven't seen that yet. Maybe we should do that tomorrow. Hun, not not you, Cam Quinlan. You have, you have to go to school. <laughs> but Eco Batman is off, so... H. Smooth says, I watched the Bulbasaur VHS a trillion times. Yeah, I have them somewhere. I don't remember which ones I had, though. Are you a photographer? Haley's too involved with her camera to notice you. Wow! Bitch! That was pretty rude, you have to admit. FK36 has just watched Fantastic Beasts two days ago. I really liked Fantastic Beasts. I liked it a lot more than I thought I was going to. What hats do we have? Ugh. Cowgirl hat. Kind of thinking of getting something different from my from my uh, straw hat. Lucky bow. The middle is made of solid gold. Holy crap. That wouldn't really go with my shirt though. My shirt's kind of like blue. Uh, let's get the watermelon band and put that on. Alright, this stupid hat. <laughs> I don't know, that looks kind of... I guess it looks alright from the side. It kind of looks like Princess Jasmine from the side. From the front, it looks a little stupid, but... We're just gonna ignore that. I was just getting sick of that hat. <laughs> Andy Wright's fiction says little did Kita know Harley was taking Haley was taking a picture of a photo of the water's reflection showing Kita standing over her. That's kind of creepy. She's like in my house taking my pictures. No Moana spoilers, please. I I don't know if anybody saw them. Saw it yet, so I can't spoil it for you. The other bows are huge. They were. John Monroe's going into song over here. Anyway, hey, John Monroe. Did you have musical practice? This evening? Alright, so today is the Stardew Valley Fair, which is pretty exciting. I don't know if I can win, but we're gonna try. I'm gonna try to get all these crops watered before we go. I don't want to have to water them later. Wow. Uh, a lot of stuff. Jeez. Look at all of these plants. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, then. John Monroe, you missed it. I was talking about how we uh, just watched X-Men First Class for the first time the other night and had homemade popcorn. It was pretty great. And we bought the second one, which I can't, I still can't remember the name, even though Cam Quindlin said it earlier. Days of Future Past, I think? We, uh, we bought that one 
at Best Buy on Black Friday for like $4. Pretty exciting. Oh, there are. Don't worry, Alice of Nines. Oh, you mean actual things that increase your chances? Well, I know one thing I'm bringing for sure. What's your favorite quote? Lucky Skarm? Alright, alright. Quick, quick, quick! Um... Okay, that's... that's forage. I think the plum might be used for something in the... That's one big hazelnut! Uh, might be used for something in the community center. The plum. Ooh, we got a gold corn. That is also important. What's what's my favorite quote? Like from anything? Or from a specific thing? Um All right. Sell that, sell that. Keep that. Okay. So, what do we want to take? And try to pick things from different categories. Yeah, yeah, I know. Give it a rest. Okay, cranberries, hazelnuts, so they're fruit and forage. Let's see. I don't have any gold fish, though. Hmm. I guess I could take that that. I'm gonna have fun putting these all away. For sure. Uh, okay, I'll take that. Ooh, a diamond would probably be a good thing to put in there. I would never put my dinosaur egg in there, as beautiful as it is. I want that to be a surprise for the villagers. You know what I mean? How many things do you put? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is it nine? I think it's nine. We'll take these just in case. John Rosas cries, OMG. Umbreon's Arrest says, My favorite Pokemon VHS was either the one where Brock got Vulpix or Ash caught the starter Pokemon. Very good. Umbreon's Arrest says, Fries and Kettle Corn are two foods I can't get sick of. Oh, we did like it, John Monroe. It was very good. Okay, here we go. Hazelnut. That. Now I'll put the. I know what I'm gonna put in the middle. Trying to get a variety of good things in here. And there we go. So, do you guys like my display? Do you like the focus of my display? What do you guys think? Hey Marty, do you like my uh, do you like my display? You, do you not seeing my my beautiful display? Hey hey Pierre, do do you like my display? I think it's better than yours, Pierre. 
I think it's better than yours, Pierre. Oh, he's serious about his display? Have you seen my display? It has a diamond and also a used pair of panties. Just in case you were wondering. Oh, I want that star drop. Hmm. Did you guys see my display? Did you see my- Oh, you want to talk to me now? You want to talk to me now that you don't have your camera? I see how it is. Who's the clown? Emily wants to be a clown. <laughs> he's not even doing anything. He's just throwing a ball. He's not even juggling. It's a discount clown. Clint's blades get sharper every year? That just sounds like a prelude to something awful. Like, what is he going to do? Should we get our fortune told? Does that even matter? Why are you over here stalking her? You've known each other for a long time. I think you want in her robe. Alright, what's our fortune? The lucky panties. The panties meme is back. It is. Oh, I'm close friends with Marnie. Yeah, that's why I just put her boyfriend's panties in my freaking display. Wow. This is pretty much the saddest thing ever. Let's just take a moment to read this. Now I see you middle-aged walking through town at dusk. You pause at a window to see a family having dinner. You hang your head and hurry off into the darkness. Wow. What a terrible fortune. I'm gonna die alone. Well... <sighs> Clint is a serial killer confirmed. I was thinking more like he's gonna, like... Do something to himself because he's depressed. Alright, where's- where's Lewis? Hey, Lewis. Hey, Lewis. Hey, Lewis. Hey, Lewis. Did you see my display? Alright. Yep. Come here. Come look at my display. That is pretty much what the diviner said. Hey Lewis, did you like mine? Did you like did you like that? Did you like that? I think you should give me all the points. Oh, it's been judged, okay. Oh, <laughs> You are some kind of sick prank. Those are very private. Well, you left them in Marnie's house and then asked me to get them. So obviously it wasn't that private or you could have done it your freaking self. Here, take 750 star tokens and don't tell a soul. Now go clean up your box and bring me my item tomorrow. No, I think I'm going to keep it. I think I'm going to keep it. <laughs> What a beautiful thing. I love that you can do that. Concerned ape. Good job. <sighs> that was lovely. Hey, Marnie, did you see my display? That was some strange-looking purple lettuce in your Grange display. You... I swear, it looked just like Mary Lewis's special under... Oh, never mind. Wow. Okay, first off, you can't tell the difference between lettuce and dirty underwear. Seems like a problem. Uh, which color always wins, guys? I don't remember. Is it orange? Echoey says he actually made dialogue for that. <laughs> Too bad, Lewis. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Andy Writes Fiction. Happy birthday. 
I'm sorry, that really sucks. I mean, at least you got to eat the food then, though, right? That's what I would have done. Green, are you guys sure? FK306, which one is it? Is it green? If you guys... If you guys lied to me, I'm gonna be really upset. I feel like I have to look it up. I don't wanna- I don't wanna lose money. I'm googling it. Alright, I guess I'll trust you. But if I lose money, I'm gonna cry. Yes! Alright. I'm like nervous. I just want to buy my fruit thing. That's all I want. Damn it! I'm very upset with all of you. That was a big bet. Fishing minigame is the best bet. From what most people are saying online, green comes up more, supposedly. But if we have to resort to playing the fishing minigame, we will. Gambling simulator. I'm not going all in. I lost twice. All right, let's try fishing. Our fishing skill is pretty high, so... You would think it would be a split chance, but I don't think it is. How much money do you even get from this game? Or star coins, tokens, whatever. It's green about 80% of the time. Yeah, well... <laughs> I had two losses. Very upset. A hundred points with a few perfects is like 200 star coins. Oh, okay.
I just don't want to sit here and play this for like five mi five minutes. I'm impatient. I want that instant gratification. Trash. Awesome. Hello, Arctic Snail. Man. Well, it's not my fault that I kept getting garbage. It's not my fault. You're playing Final Fantasy 15? Moped dude would be excited. All right, now I have like an uneven amount. <laughs> Is it fun? Oh my gosh, so close. Come on, green. If only this worked in real life. Yes. Let's go get this thing. Yes. Star drop. You found a star drop. Your mind is filled with thoughts of sass. Wow. What else do we have? The rare crow is 800. Hmm. I don't care about those sunflowers. But the rare crow, I would be interested in getting that. You might have fainted a little because it's so good. Well, that's good. Awesome. Gonna go buy my rare crow. Like, look at this random dude. Did they just hire him to stand there and do that this whole time? What a strange man. I guess I should go find Super Saiyan Sam. I didn't even see him anywhere. Oh, here he is. He's over there. Oh, Sebastian's so cool. Smoking. Aw, that's a nice... A nice thing. He's He asked me if I was having a good time. What a nice fellow. You deserve the fedora. <laughs> I know. But I don't feel like sitting there playing that chance game for another 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. The rare crow is suave. Look at him. He's very... He's very dapper. I don't know. Put him... I'll just put him right there for now. I guess I should give Mayor Lewis back his underwear. That's no fun, but I kind of want to get the quest out of my inventory. Now I have the fun of putting... Oh, oh man. That was the wrong one. Now I have the fun of putting all the stuff back. Which is not actually fun. That goes there. How much do you get if you actually win? Like, did I get the same amount as if I would have won? I wonder if my friendship with him 
would have gone down if I had friendship with him, which I don't. That would be kind of funny. I wonder how old those panties are by now. Long. Very, very... It's probably been a long time since he's washed them, so they're probably pretty old. You get a thousand if you win? Okay. At least wash them? No way, that's not my job. That's his job. Andy Writes Fiction says, what's everyone's favorite book? Hmm. Favorite series is definitely Harry Potter. Favorite, like, standalone book is probably The Perks of Being a Wallflower. I love that book. Why am I watering these? Andy Rates Fiction says, yes, OMG, that is second for me. Perks of Being a Wallflower, it's such a good book. The movie was also very good. So what's your first favorite one? That's your second. DGM says, I can't really choose a legit favorite book because I like certain genres. It's definitely hard to pick a favorite book, but I just kind of consider, like for me, a favorite book is a book that I will reread multiple times and not like it doesn't get old and I don't get bored of it even as time goes on. Okay. Ooh. Got our first thing of wild honey, which is nice. Did I save any sunflowers? I don't think I did last time. Oh, I did. I'll save one more. The honey is going to go in there. Ooh. I guess I never put that corn back. Oh wait, maybe I did. I think... I think that goes in the community center, but is it one or is it five? Okay, I need five. I have two. <laughs> Not quite the same. Guess what guys, it still is not raining. What is up with that? It's fall, you'd think it would be raining more. Did I put the wild plum? Oh, I guess it's not a plum, it's a pomegranate. Well. Fine. We gotta pick up our axe though.
One magpie says Haley loves sunflowers too. Oh, really? The rain thinks your character's a little shit. It would seem like it. It would really seem like it. No. No, I don't feel like doing that, wizard. Wizard. Hey, Lewis. I better not inspect these too closely. Here's your gross underwear. What do you mean I found them? I knew where they were. It. How can it stay between us if I just... If everybody saw that. He's crazy. Poor Mayor Lewis. I'm gonna go get Linus's bucket. <laughs> Because I haven't done that. And that's another quest that's just sitting in my inventory. So, or my quest log, whatever you want to call it. The journal. Hey, just because I'm cool, what's up? There it is. Got the basket. Uh, Indy Rhodes Fiction says, My favorite of all time is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. I heard that book was really good. I don't have it, though. Have not read it, but I heard it's good. Got a quiz to do tomorrow, but who cares? I'm a bad influence. Terrible, terrible influence. Linus, man, where you at? Got your basket. Are you in your house? Or your tent? Where the heck is he? Is he up here? No. Can Kita do Titus's laugh? I don't. I've never played Final Fantasy, so I don't know what you're talking about. I think I know who Titus is. Maybe. Because I think he was in Kingdom Hearts. I don't know. I'm really not a fan of Final Fantasy VII's art style. I know for the time it was really good, but because I never played it then, it just does not appeal to me. Okay, I think I think I know who you're talking about. Lewis, where the frick is Linus? Is it the saloon? Ah. <sighs> Cam Quinlan says the one character looks like my girlfriend Yuffie. <laughs> Yuffie does look like Morgan. It's kind of weird. Just because I'm cool said I'm done with the Pokemon storyline. Now I have to get all the Pokemon to get the shiny charm. Oh, that's fun. DJM says my first Final Fantasy game was Forever the Crystal Chronicles game. The one that slyly suggested you had friends and family. <laughs> Is that one for the GameCube? 
because I think I have that. Oh, why won't it rain? Yeah, I think we do have that. For the GameCube. We have a couple of them. I'm really irritated that I could not find Linus because now I have to carry around his stupid basket. <sighs> Does anywhere know where that loser is? Titus is the main character of Final Fantasy X. Oh, okay. In Kingdom Hearts, he's like really young. You see him on Destiny Islands for like five minutes. He's in the bathhouse? Would he still be there? It's, it's a bit later now. What's Linus doing in the bathhouse? John Moreau said, I never played the games, but Final Fantasy X is only $24 at my local GameStop, so maybe. A lot of people seem to like it. <laughs> I just can't wait for Kingdom Hearts 2.8, which is a stupid name, but whatever. You're welcome. Did he actually... Okay. I was gonna say, did he actually give me money for that? Because he doesn't really have money. I'm excited to start completing the Alolan Pokedex. To get the shiny charm, because I want to do some shiny hunting faux show during some chill streams in the future. <laughs> Crap, I didn't get the axe, did I? Ugh. Gotta go get that. When is Sam's birthday? Does anybody know offhand? I don't know if it's this month or not. Yeah, I hope you guys will not be too uh, upset when we do that. Kind of a change of pace thing. Lucky Skarm says, Oh, I accidentally traded my lucky egg on GTS. The regret is real. Oh no. And this, the crappy thing is, is you can't uh, transfer your Pokemon or anything from uh, X and Y or Auras. Because I have a bunch of lucky eggs on one of those because I was farming for them but you can't really trade your Pokemon yet so there's really no way of doing that please attempt to do the Titus laugh I don't know what the Titus laugh is so I can't really do it
You think Sam's birthday's in the summer, John Monroe? Hmm. Sad I missed it. Yeah, I don't think they're adding that until January. For you to be able to trade with uh, the older versions. Even if you have Pokemon Bank, which is kind of annoying. Because oh, I paid for that. That $5. It's a lot of money. When you're broke. Alright, let's go get the axe. Oh, I hate whatever sickness I have. It's really annoying. Ooh, green algae. Out of the trash. Sounds great. This is not where I wanted to go. There we go. Bye, Clint. Just because I'm cool says I can't wait for the Nintendo Switch. I hope they come out with a Mario cat a Mario Kart with it too. The Nintendo Switch looks really great. <laughs> I'm excited for it. I will say though that if I were like I don't know, if I had a if I were a parent, I would be nervous about my kids losing the pieces of the controller. I feel like for an adult gamer, it's great, but I just I really see kids losing <laughs> if they, you know, if they don't put the controller back right and they lose some of those pieces. Hopefully they'll make it so that you can buy replacements because I just see that happening I mean they never they never really allowed you to do that with the Wii U if you you know if you screwed up the gamepad you pretty much had to buy a whole new system which is kind of stupid but you know I'm going to force Eco Batman to level up. Uh, oh man, what's it called? Rock Ruff? Because I want the evolution from Moon and not Sun. Since we're talking about evolutions and whatnot. Let's go to the secret woods area. You like sun like and rock better? I like the werewolfy one. I think it looks pretty awesome. All right, get out of the way. Cam Quindlin says, I want to play poke so bad. I'm sorry.
Let's see if I can fish without this slime trying to kill me, because I don't have my sword with me. No, don't do it. You butthole. What a jerk. What a total jerk. These trees are in my way. At least we can try to get the fish that's in there now. I think it's the wood skip. Because we do need that one. Uh, I do not know what that is, just because I'm cool. I'm not very far in the game. Because I'm doing it uh, for the channel. Should I get the horse? That is the question. Because I always forget to use the horse. <laughs> uh... I don't know if I really need to. Poke? Why are you poking me? Yeah, I don't get why some people put weird things in GTS. Makes no sense. Oh, okay, yeah, I am not even remotely close to beating that game, so... Hmm... I guess we could go back and fish for that... Fish for that fish! guess we'll do that. <laughs> That's okay, just because I'm cool. I'm pretty sure a lot of other people are. Cam Quindlin wants to play pokes. All right, let's murder some slimes. I really need a better sword. Before we go mining, I'm gonna have to buy a better one. This one will not cut it. What do I have to give? Do I have to give him a cannoli? I think I do. I think I remember that from last time. So we need to do that at some point. Uh, dumb question, but are you on Tumblr? Yes, I have um, all my links should be on my Twitch channel page. They're also on any of my videos at the very bottom. I have all my social media links. And I'm pretty much everywhere. Aha! The wood skip. Yeah. 
in a carp. John Maru says, oh my god, you guys, so my babe Patrick Chan, who's a figure skater, won first place at Skate Canada, and I was so happy, but the fan base of the man who got second place, I am not going to attempt to pronounce that, went under the video of Patrick Chan skating and commented things such as, why did he win, rigged, he doesn't deserve the points he got, wow, what the heck. Some fan bases can turn nasty very quickly, unfortunately. Umbreon's um, says, I still need to get the silver slash iron or whatever it is tools to get back there. I'm only at the 25th floor level. All right, see you later. Just because I'm cool, thanks for hanging out for a little bit. I will take my leave. Now. I don't think I have time to go to the community center tonight. I really need a better ring. I think I only have the magnet ring. I don't have a glowing ring yet. I'm not sure when I got those or where I got them last time. Are you going to do a raid tonight? <laughs> 